Here are five reasons why TSM Hamlins is so good at Fortnite. Presented by Fortnite Master. We've decided to try something new this week with this pro player analysis. We're going to take a look at some clips from TSM Hamlins and show exactly why he wins so many games and try to give you guys some insight into what makes him such a good player. Before starting, we do want to say that this idea was inspired by that Denver guy, so go check out his channel if you're looking for another source of good educational content. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. The first clip we're going to analyze showcases Hamlin's extremely fast decision making. From the very start of an engagement, he's always making quick decisions to either get damage on opponents, get positional advantage, or move forward with some calculated aggression. Right here you can see he starts in tilted and after taking a couple of shots on the guys on the hill, he begins to push. But on his way down he hears somebody else nearby. He immediately halts his push and boxes up for fear the player he heard could pinch him. But after a few seconds and no more tip offs of the player nearby, he goes ahead and continues with the push. Notice that he is consistently turning around to check for the player behind him and is ready to react if he sees anybody. At this point, he makes it up the hill without getting shot in the back, so he's going to go ahead and push the first player he shot at. He starts the engagement by walking up with some ramps for a good high ground position at the beginning of the fight. And he catches, right there, the edge of the build being placed. Even though he can't see the other player building up, he knows that that ramp means that they're going for height and immediately reacts by trying to do the same. Unfortunately, he blocks himself and tries to ramp out to the side, but it's too late as the other player already has height. Hamlin's doesn't waste any time though, and immediately builds a ceiling above to block that angle, edits a window, and starts shooting the other player's build to knock them down. As soon as he knocks the player down, he goes for an aggressive high ground edit, but again, it's just a little too late as the other player has already caught himself on Hamlin's build. He immediately reacts by making the decision to track the player and predict exactly what he's going to do, getting himself a free 47 damage. He then immediately jumps on his ramp, realizes the floor isn't his build, quickly changes plans and makes a side jump to retake height. And barely half a second after he ramps over the player, double ed is down for a surprise kill. This is much easier to understand at half speed, but in reality, Hamlin's is making these decisions rapidly and without hesitation, allowing him to get free damage, retake high ground and surprise opponents with fast edits. We chose this next clip because it shows Hamlet's insane awareness and ability to track opponents. You can see that at the start of this fight, he's playing from the low ground in a 1v1 situation. He's going to try and build up a little bit, but you can tell the other player knows what they're doing as they immediately build higher to secure height. Instead of build further, Hamlin's notices that they're overbuilding and decides to edit his own wall and shoot out their foundation using that opportunity to build up himself. Unfortunately, the other player is a little too quick and is able to secure height. However, Hamlin's tracks his opponent and turns almost 180 degrees to go for a shot, which barely misses. Then he does pretty much the same thing again. Tracks his opponent and holds the angle he knows they're going to peak. This time, it works, and he gets a strong 110 damage. And one more time, he's going to track his opponent's movements and hold the angle he knows they'll run into. He waits a second and barely misses, then immediately repositions as he doesn't want to be predictable. This time, he starts to double ramp up, baiting the enemy to follow and block him. Then, he steps out to the side and jumps up for yet another low ground peak. Having good awareness allows you to track your opponents at all times and get those split second peaks they won't expect. Ham's put on a show in this clip, using his insane awareness and tracking ability to outplay his opponent with some nutty low ground peaks. This next clip showcases Hamlin's ability to seize opportunities for quick shots instead of overbuilding or waiting for the perfect situation. A lot of players have problems with overbuilding and becoming too predictable. Hamlin's takes advantage of those tendencies and is great at getting shots off in those split seconds where you leave yourself vulnerable. Right here he has the drop on a player who seems to be turtling. He tries to block a couple of angles and go for the replace. The player surprises him and edits out for a quick high ground retake. Hamlin's 90s up to make sure he keeps height. He sees the other player drop and takes a really fast shot on them while they're dropping down in midair, which is not a shot that a lot of players are going to get. Then he immediately drops down to go for a follow up, sees the player breaking out of a wall, and again takes another extremely quick shot in the split second that the player is vulnerable before they're able to build a wall and box themselves in again. Now, he's hit this player twice, so he knows they're a little weak. 
He's gonna drop down and go for a wall replace. Gets the edit, but is a second too slow as they're able to block themselves off. Right here, he knows that when he has the edit and they're forced to block that angle with a ramp or a pyramid, they're likely gonna edit out the top. And that's exactly what they do. That's why he's able to turn around and get a third unexpected shot on this player right before they can block themselves off. He's gonna think for a second and reload his gun, then go for another aggressive wall replace to finish off this kill. He goes for somewhat of a juke by getting the first wall to one shot, hitting another wall, then going back and claiming the first. Gets the edit. The other player jumps on a ramp, but he's been here before. As soon as they edit out the top, he's waiting with his shotgun to finish off the kill. These quick shots during split seconds of vulnerability is a big part of why Hamlin's is so good. He's able to deal a lot of free damage and put opponents on their back foot with a combination of his game sense and quick reaction. Now we want to look at how Hamlet's is able to convert his calculated aggression into quick kills. So right here we're in a solo squad situation. He's on a hill with high ground advantage, but he lands a 157 heavy sniper shot on one of the three players he sees. So he's going to dive right onto them to take the advantage of that damage before they're able to heal up and negate any advantage he had. Yeah, bro, give me some energy. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. He's gonna land right on top of their builds, drop down, and see them place a pyramid above the brick floor. So he knows they're in this box. He uses his heavy sniper to quick claim a wall and immediately down one of the players. This is where it gets risky. The second player breaks out right next to Hams, but instead of being over aggressive and going for the 50-50 trade, he wisely backs up and walls himself off, then goes for the safer edit play from above. He's still playing super aggressive, but not reckless, which is a distinction many players have trouble making. Even though there is only one player left now, instead of mindlessly spraying into their box, he backs up because he needs to reload his shotgun, SMG, and heavy sniper. Again, many players would just continue to W key, but Ham shows off his calculated aggression. After reloading the sniper, he goes for another surprise breach, but finds himself in an awkward position because he breached the wrong box. He quickly backs up out of that box so he's not vulnerable, makes two quick edits, and finishes the last guy from an unexpected angle. This clip does a great job of showing how Hamlin's is able to play aggressive, but not reckless. He's able to kill all three of these players in less than a minute, while not leaving himself too vulnerable or going for overly risky trades. Lastly, we wanted to highlight Hamlin's precision building and editing. He is remarkably fast and intentional with every build he places and every edit he makes, which gives him the upper hand against most other good players he runs into. So right here, he's kind of in a tough situation. He's starting in his own box, getting pressure from multiple angles. He tries to edit out the top to retake height, fails the second edit, but doesn't just mindlessly continue forward. He knows he failed and lost his chance, so he turns around and goes for a different angle. Edits out the back instead and starts to build up. Blocks himself with a floor and edits through. Blocks himself with another floor and a pyramid and this time edits through again. This is a really important strat that he uses a lot. He blocks himself for immediate protection and then edits through so players on height can't block him or get free shots while he's building up. With this strat, he's able to secure high ground against this player. Now with the height advantage, he's looking for those free shots himself. He takes a couple of shots, but unfortunately, they block themselves with the floor. He's quick to put his own pyramid on top of that floor to make sure that they cannot add it through and continue going for height. They have to take time to turn and go a different direction. He uses the time to build up one more level and goes for a similar play, wait for them to try building, and shoot them while they're vulnerable. One quick edit and he ends the fight with a strong 210 pump to the face. Notice at the end here, he doesn't just go for another shot after he missed the first. He immediately places a floor after the first shot to block the other player from trading, then quickly edits to finish the kill after they miss their shot. Thank you guys once again for watching this video. We're trying something new with this pro player analysis, so let us know if it's something you like and want to see more of. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Peace.